Do you want to tell that story? And <laughs> are, you, are you comfortable with me telling this story? I remember the first movie, what was it called? There was a kiss that took place between a positive person and a negative person. I remember walking out of the movie and hearing, overhearing uh, some uh, other people saying, oh, I didn't know you could get it from a kiss. Freaking out seemed to be the, uh, kind of the, the baseline for the vast majority of the population. One of the parties I actually was invited to, like a sleepover with some of my friends when we were in like fourth grade or something like that, one of the friend's parents, like the host parent, was contacted by another one of my friend's parents and was just like, are you sure that you want Ashley at the sleepover because of her HIV? And then the host parent was like, yeah, why not? Like, she's gonna have a good time. It's like, if you don't want your daughter there, she doesn't have to come. Someone can be HIV positive and undetectable, and there's, like, no risk of them transmitting the virus to anyone else, but there's still people who don't know that, even though there has been, like, a lot of education. People sitting on toilet seats and getting it, which I think is bizarre. Share a utensil with someone who has HIV, you can get it because of, like, the saliva. There was a time when a lot of people would freak out. And I never actually experienced that. Tim was just my partner, and we just deal with uh, whatever it was that came up. Like, for me, it wasn't a big deal at all, no. I've noticed people think that you can't be as intimate with your partner if your partner is negative while you're positive. That needs to kind of change, because we get to have the best of everything. You got to think about the person, but you got to think about the science behind it, too. And it's like, it's so preventable. People living with HIV on effective treatment can't pass it on. Can't pass it on. You can't, you can't pass, pass it on. on.